All right, welcome to another edition of A Beginner Breakdown. I am your host, Mike Comer. Today we'll be going over very basic chess games. And in the audience we have a, as you might remember, Sundarum from the big Blitz match, all right? So I expect a lot of great answers from you today, Sundarum, okay? All right, sounds great. All right, so in the first game I am playing uh, the black pieces against my uh, students from uh, Ferguson, okay? So let's see, it's their sixth week of chess. Let's see if they've progressed at all. All right, so F4, that's a legal move, okay. So I play the move E5. And now D6, this is a trick. I don't know if anybody's seen the trick. You're hoping that they take here, okay? and then you would take. And then if they play a random move like knight to c3, can you tell me how we have a quick knockout here? Queen h4. Queen h4, check. Their only response is g3. Uh, bishop takes g3. Our queen takes g3. Mm -hmm. Well, bishop takes g3, pawn takes. Should we take a free rook? Nothing like a free rook, right? Why drag out the, out the game? Yeah, checkmate, okay? Unless, unless it's... Yeah, it was a quick knockout. Yeah, it was. So, so you have to watch out. When, so when if somebody plays F4, which is called the bird's opening, because it's for the birds, obviously. F4, E5, D6, and then you, if they take, you take with the bishop. So you sacrifice the pawn. They have to either respond with the move uh, G3 now, or knight f3. But when they play knight f3, you just attack it, right? If they're dumb and they attack your uh, bishop, you got a quick checkmate. If they do this, you know, then it's going to be, it's not going to be very fun for them. And now you can take the free rook. Okay, so. So that's, that's something I would recommend to play. And uh, so, all right, so in the game, unfortunately they did not take it. They played the move A4. Very scholastic, like they love getting those rooks out as fast as possible. Nice. So knight up attacks the pawn. So rook A3, I take, discovered attack. And so now they get the rook out to E3. So. So it's basically not a good way to play because the rooks, long range pieces, they're playing up there. And so now we can just attack it and try to trap it. They decide not to, uh, not to defend the rook, so you take it. Take. So, so I could take the queen with check, but considering I'm a much better a player, you probably do not want to trade the queens at this point. So I get my bishop out, knight takes the pawn, it's a mistake, so take, knight up, now give him the queen check. Now if you were playing white, what would you play here? Most likely g2. We had g2 to g3, right? Block the check. So it, it was a bit of hope chess on my part, hoping that they would move the king to get out of the check. And I'm guessing it Yes. And so, castle, check. and this is not going to be checkmate, unfortunately, because after knight up, rook takes, he created a flight square. A flight square is a place where the king can go and to get out of check. Flight square. Sound good? All right, yeah, just take the queen. <laughs> and now we need to start thinking about checkmate. We actually have, well, we do not have checkmate here. But if you really want to think about checkmate, what moves would you be considering here? Bishop e6, Bishop e6. excellent. Okay, because you want to get this game done as fast as possible. Obviously, we could take here and get the, the rook, we could take the bishop, but we want to get checkmate. We want the 9 billion point. So bishop e6, all right, so now e4, that's what I play, I play take the pawn, but 
we have much better in this position. Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's let's see if Sunderum's got it, and then we'll go to August. E one. Do you really know what E one is? Who who should we put on E one? Yeah, is that what you were? That's what August was gonna say. I totally missed it. Uh, Ch check. The king cannot move anywhere. So he has the black with the bishop, and then obviously checkmate. Good job, Sunderum, in August. So, but queen takes e3. No, now I cannot go to c4 because the bishop would take the, the light square bishop. So I, I take, well, what? Well, it, because because it's it's because now he can escape up here. That's very obnoxious. So I take the other bishop. A bishop to d3, and once again I miss a tactic. Uh, queen e3. Queen e3. You're playing just like me, <laughs> but that's not good. That's not good. So that's something else I was considering, but then I think he just plays king say, takes c2 and laughs at me. Well, then you take the bishop with the queen. Mm -hmm. But we have, we have something even better. Taking the rook, I mean, all these suggestions are, are fine and winning. Like queen takes e3 is actually was playing the game. Uh, rook takes c2 would eventually uh, lead to uh, white's demise and uh, just take the rook. We probably don't want to do that, Sunderum, because uh, Bishop would take the queen. Right. But okay, so let's just let's just I'll just show queen takes e3, and now g4. Now I finally figure out the tactic here. Maybe if we look deeper, we had the same tactic last uh, move as well. I'm sure there's a lot of people yelling at home. <laughs> like, come on already. <laughs> it is not queen c5. All right, so notice this bishop is in a pin, right? Yes. Okay, how many different ways is it attacked by me right now? Two. Two, the queen and the knight. Who is, pro and it's protected twice, right? By the king and the pawn. What can you tell me about this pawn? It's stuck. And it's, it, it's stuck, correct. So is there a real defender of d3? No. No. So what move should we play then? Uh, I don't know. Uh, no. <laughs> queen, takes. queen takes d3, check. And you see how the pawn is powerless to take the queen? So the king moves. Check. B6. B6, that checkmate. Do we have any other checkmates in this position? Uh, but B6 is the best, obviously. Knight H6. Not checkmate. <laughs> Not checkmate. <laughs> I'm, glad. I'm glad you got a ball out of that. OK, so, so what's the real knight checkmate here? Knight c6 checkmate. Knight c4. And we got another checkmate here. Is this for real? Checkmate. There's so many checkmates. Okay. So that was a good game for me, I that guess. That was a very one sided game. Yes. Uh, most of these games are one sided because they've only been playing for six weeks. So once again, I have the. Uh, the black pieces in this game. And now they start out knight f3. So I bring my pawn up. g4. Much better is just uh, simply g3. But all right, g4. So I want to attack the g pawn here. <laughs> sure, so it doesn't get under attack right away. And I could still theoretically castle Fianchetto the bishop. 
and then I get castled, okay? That'd be a nice castle formation for you. Okay, so G4. Yes. So knight f6 would just be walking right into his plan. He'd be like, what? I'll attack you. What if so, d5? d5. Because Much better. Now we got a discovered attack, and we, we're covering you know, e4 through b4 here. So we're doing pretty well. All right, so knight attacks f7 and protects the pawn. Bishop e6, you think I would play bishop e6 in this position? No. No, I, I attack the knight. I attack the knight. Well, that was, well that, in that case, he can just take the pawn and he can my castle. Which pawn can he take here? F7? You wouldn't want to trade a knight for a pawn, as we'll see in uh, a couple more games coming up. So the knight ends up retreating, and now we get free pawn. Yay, yeah. So, so uh, he really likes moving his knight around. <laughs> yeah, you got to move other pieces. You can't just be moving the, the same guy around. Yes. So I have two pieces developed and I'm up a pawn and he only has one piece developed on the edge of the, the board here, okay? The most useless place right now. Yes, so now I need to develop more pieces, right? Or, you know, control the center even more. Okay. It looks like you're transforming this into a board. How about, how about um, attack the knight on e7? Okay, so Sundaram suggests bishop to e7. All right. I mean, he just play knight back to f3. And then I can play e, and he goes here. So, so that's an idea, uh, except it doesn't win me material. So it does win you tempo. It does win it tempo. Does. But tempo means time. It's moves. Tempo, like you get free moves. You're wasting his moves by developing your pieces, and he's just moving his knight around. Mm-hmm. So knight up, just protect the pawn, he gets castled. So now we play e4, you know, threatening g5. Okay, so what do you think the worst move white can make in this position is? Uh, knight g6. Nope. Really? That's yep. pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, Which piece of white is in a pin? <laughs> It, it's currently in a yes. Yeah, so so you probably don't want to move pieces that are in pins, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So not not the best move there. So knight up. What am I attacking? You are attacking the H two pawn. What's your queen? All right. Is there any way you can protect that? No. Well, yes. There's actually no. two ways we can protect it. What? The, um, the F2 pawn? No, we're attacking the H pawn right now. So what's the two ways we can protect the H2 pawn? Knight F3, well that's just terrible. Knight F3, which of course is played. What's the other one? Wait, is that seriously what's played? It seriously is. <laughs> Have you been watching this game? Yes, August. F4, okay. All right, I did not see that. I did not see that. They get the on action. Thank you very much. But then he plays knight takes. And now he's doing okay. Yes. Well, what's the other, only other way we can... Uh, How about pawn on h3? Yeah, pawn h3. Okay. The move, he plays, knight up, pawn takes, bishop takes, check, king up, and then it's checkmate. Queen takes f2, kings can't capture protected pieces. One check on accident. Just a slip of the fingers. 
and then the game is over. So now I got uh, I got the black pieces one more time, okay? Queen All right, they start out e4, c5, and uh, a4. See, when you play beginners, you gotta watch out for these uh, for, the rook swings. for the rook swings, even though they're not good. But you just gotta watch out. Now he starts playing a little bit normal, so I decide I'm gonna play a little bit normal. So once again, they come down with the knight, even though it's a different player, obviously. And this time, I'm not concerned about playing knight h6, because I can just uh, castle uh, manually after king takes. Mm, interesting. So, so he says, what happens if I play queen f3? Before, I probably play knight f6. Oh, if you were to play queen f3 right here, I would just play, uh, let's see what I would play. So, I could play knight f6. I mean, d4. d4? Yeah. Well, one, I'm black here, and so d4 is illegal, and I've got to watch out for queen takes f7 check. I might play knight e5. Wait, mate, not check. Well, if I play d5. I guess that would so knight e5 is the best way because it defends f7 and attacks the queen. And queen f4. That All right, so we have a, a question here. So after queen f3, knight e5, queen here. I could play h6. No, no, I, no I, nothing's destroyed. Nothing, nothing's destroyed. All right, I check. Right, and I and I'm doing just fine. Okay. That's fine. And then my king can go to h7 and be all happy. Okay, when he gets castled. All right, so that would stop his little threat, but he doesn't even go for it. Okay. So king takes. E5. Right, but I'm gonna castle manually here. Okay. I know, I know. Yeah, once the king moves, castling is off the table, right? Yeah, also, if one book moves, you can also castle. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing you pushed your rook to the rook after Mm hmm. After he drops some pieces here. After, why would you drop pieces? You can move your rook up to knight uh, 6 There it is, rook f8, okay? So now I'm threatening to castle just yeah. by hand, okay? Manually, all right? Manual. <laughs> so take. So now, if he would take queen takes d4 here, which he smartly didn't, what move would I uh, pound on the board here? Yeah. So knight takes f3 check. It's a fork, so he takes it, and then bishop takes queen, and and the, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, queen a4 check. <laughs> and so instead, instead of taking any place, f4 attacks the knight. So now my dream of uh, all that is gone. And so now he pushes the pawn a little more. E5. So I take it. E5. E5. I don't want to trade the pawn for pawn here. I'd rather just well, take his stuff. So now you'll love this move. So this this is when your head is just not in the game. So so he plays the move king e2. What? And I'm like, oh man, he just unprotected this pawn. I better take it. Yeah. Obviously, I have a much better move than knight takes pawn. Just take the queen. <laughs> just take the queen, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, take the queen. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Instead. Instead, I get an idea how I can win the queen here. Oh, because the queen works more than the knight. Because you can literally just take the queen. Like, <laughs> that's not always the smartest thing. And so now I finally realize I want that pawn. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy, yummy. You really? <laughs> took the pawn? I took the pawn. And then you go back so I'm going back, okay? So I got the fork back on. All right. And I guess we can figure it out what's yeah. going 
Now, now I figure out another tactic to win the queen, okay? I just don't want to take it. I want to... You want to do it in a really convoluted way. Right. So bishop takes check. So now the queen and my... So now I could take it. Who votes that I take it? I vote that you don't take it. <laughs> No, let's really think about this. Okay, so, so obviously I could take the queen here, which I could have taken a long time ago, which is a nine-point piece. But the king is worth nine billion. Let's, let's checkmate the king here. Knight c4 check would not work because bishop could take c4. So if I took here, he could play bishop takes c4. Queen b4, did you, did you read the, uh, the thing? <laughs> queen B3. No, actually. Queen B3 would drop the queen. I mean four. I mean four. <laughs> okay. All right. Queen B4. I like it. All right. So he only has one legal move here. And that's over one. Oh, and one. And checkmate. It's checkmate. Do you see the checkmates under him? So we're back to square one here. Okay. It's not queen takes C4, but you're very close. Uh, yep. queen b2. Horrible. <laughs> Do you know it in the back? You see a checkmate? Do you see a checkmate? Obviously, August I sees it. Like Finally. Uh, it better be right, too. Okay, c3. C3? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Checkmate. <laughs> so exciting. All right, so now we did a big rematch. And I finally get the white pieces here. Yep, so e4, e5, so kind of playing a regular. It looks like you're trying to play a scholar. Finally, go white. Yeah, finally. They probably go to scholars, though, if they didn't notice. So I got the, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to go for that. Yeah, it works. You should have. Rookie one. Yeah, for five games, they had the white pieces. Now I'm taking the white pieces, OK? The hero, of course, I'm the hero. So, so unlike all the other games, right? They've actually been getting the pieces off the back row, castled, defending e5. So now, what do you think? Uh, obviously, knight here is not a good move because it uh, really attacks nothing, and he's on no mission here. What do you think some ideas for black would be to improve on the knight to uh, g4? If you were playing black, I mean, what are some ideas you got? Any, or do you have any ideas? Or do you like this knight move? Well, for all starters, he trapped his bishop when yours really in the, his way. Right, yeah, he trapped his bishop, he so. He trapped his other bishop as well. <laughs> yeah, so both his bishops are trapped. So, so, so he could try maybe b6 here. He trapped his rook because he trapped his bishops. You should go like knight g5. Knight g5. All right. Well, it's, see, what would knight, or, so let's say he passes Sunder him, okay? Why, why do you think knight to g5 would be good here? Because two pieces attack the f7 pawn. Okay, so, so, okay, let's say he passes again. And now we take, take, check, king takes. We just traded our only two pieces that were developed, right? Which equal up to six for a five point rook and a pawn. And look at how many much more development he has yeah, than us. Yeah, most of them are traps. Right. So that would not be a good idea to, no, to trade was, two minor pieces for a rook and a pawn. I'm saying that most of his pieces are traps, not yours. They're more active than yours. Right. So Sunderum, that would not be a good, a good strategy here. OK. So, so anyway, in the game, he just goes knight to g4. So we're like, go away. And he's like, I'm not going away. I'm going to put my other knight where it can get captured. <laughs> it was not, not the best. Not my finest rule. <laughs> yeah. So I take that one. And then he drops it. And then I get the other one. And then you take And you just start taking stuff. And then you take the And now we start thinking about checkmate here. I did not do on passant in this position because I just I want to keep that keep it all clear. I'm, I'm thinking about a queen on the G file checkmate. So 
So bishop takes f6. In this position, okay, it's black to move. And he does not pick the right move. He tried to play the move f6. It's a right because it's it's a pinned a piece. Bishop e7. Unfortunately, he plays queen there. What? And so take. And now, what is the fastest way to checkmate this guy? What? The black? Yeah, the black. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get checkmated down here. I think my king's doing pretty well. No, no, knight g5, horrible. Knight e5, excellent. It's not checkmate, but, but it's a clearance. It's a clearance. So who do you think I was making room for when I moved my knight? The queen. So, knight, so he says knight to g5 with the unstoppable threat of pawn pawn but he can move the rook but this is pretty good yeah that's pretty good all right so yeah i mean your, your way is just a little bit slower than mine all right so so we get the queen check and then where where's the checkmate yes Excellent. Queen g7, checkmate. Good job. All right. And now we have one last opponent who gets two tries at this. Mariah. 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 Okay. Well, you get a rematch, you know. One with white, one with black. Yes, it's a girl. Okay. So d5, take it. B, yeah, yeah. Obviously, black should play queen takes d5 or knight f6. What's your move? <laughs> not, that, not b5? No. Black's turn. Okay. Well, what would you play if you were playing white in this position? I illegal. Do you mean bishop b5 check or bishop the c4 to protect the pawn? I said b5. <laughs> well, let the record show you clearly said c5, but <laughs> that's all right. All right. So, so yeah, you want to play bishop d5 check, and she actually helps me out because she's actually going to put a pawn on b5. I was like, yep. And she blocks with the bishop, not the queen. That was good. That was good. So a4. Uh, no, we were playing when you take your hand off the piece. Check. Queen takes. Knight protects the pawn. Just take the knight, right? Yeah, she, she, she didn't know where to put the knight, so she, she was there. So take, take. And now, she actually has a threat here. Can you believe it? This is like the first time I got threatened all day. Queen G2, right? All right, so I just develop my knight. When you're playing against a lower rated opponent, especially when they don't know much what's going on, you don't really want to trade your power pieces. So you really don't want to play queen F3 here. You play a knight F3. All right, so get castled. But that doesn't mean I, I shouldn't get castled and, and be safe. And now queen takes knight. Yeah, it's too easy, right? It's yeah, too easy. Yeah, I, I, well, obviously you want to take with the uh, yeah, the D pawn, so now my queen can become a menace yeah. here. Mm, yeah. So now I want my queen to become a menace. Where's my queen going here? Queen to D five. Yeah, queen to D five. All right. So now we're threatening the pawn. We're threatening the rook. We're threatening the check. And obviously. She can't wait to attack my queen. Check. All right, they got one move. 
So now what, what do we want to do? Yeah, that's what he suggested, knight e5. So knight e5. And What's the only legal move black has in this? Well, not the only move that doesn't uh, fall to checkmate here. F6. F6. Uh, you're going to see mate. Failure. Failure, yeah, failure, <laughs> yeah. Love it. All right, so, so what, what other piece do, can we have? We got a knight f6, yeah, not f6, knight f6. So now, we'll just take the rook. Just take the rook. Take back and that's still made. Oh, right, checkmate. That's still made at queen g8. Let's probably not take it yet. Or should we take it? No, if you take it, and then yeah, knight it. takes back, and then queen c8 checkmate. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, check me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good job. All right, so obviously she didn't, she couldn't protect it. And now we have the we have the last match of the day. All right, once again, I had the white pieces. And uh, so you just play good. E4, E5. Bishop up. Pawn attacks the bishop. I think in a lot of these beginner games, they're they're they are making bad moves, but they're assuming that you know, hey, I'm attacking your bishop, you won't see it. I think that's why a lot of these uh these moves you see are uh, below average. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. <laughs> Pawn takes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Why not bishop takes? Bishop takes is not good because then you play knight f6 and then I have to waste time moving my bishop back. <laughs> yeah. Well, queen takes bishop would not be good because I could just take it back. All right, so pawn takes c6 so we can just take it and take it back. A knight attacks the pawn. H5, so we just take the pawn. In this position, there was a good move for Black. I don't believe it. Okay. All right, what, what is the good move? Oh, well, let's hear what Sunderworm has to say. E4. E4. I do like E4 here. E4. And yeah, E4. 95. 95. No, no, no. Let's protect the f7 pawn somehow. Maybe with bishop e6. I mean, it's unfortunate that we have to play like that, but that's all. That's all. The only chance we have. Why not? All right, but but the game proceeded. H5 took the pawn. Bishop up. Bishop check. King up. All right. What's what's your suggestion, Sunderum? All right, so you're 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 just playing like uh, like the kid now, because yeah, guess what? I just, <laughs> just take the knight. Uh, all right, all right. So, so the move obviously is d3. That way I can get castled and I can get check here. So knight to d7. Now, Sunderum, you might be onto something. Because black just voluntarily removed the defender. <laughs> the defender of c6. <laughs> but don't worry, I didn't play it anyway either. I got castled. <laughs> so, so now you see Sunderum, your knight takes c6. Check actually works in this position. Oh, uh, well, well, first I, I play my check. Cause I, I was real. I had my heart set on that check. Yeah, now knight to c6 is, is recommended. But but first I get castled, okay? And now they defend it. Yep. So queen to e2. Knight g6 check. Knight g6 check. They'll take check. 
King back. I mean, it's... It, Yeah, then we could check with the queen, but, but now he's getting away. Okay, so, so sometimes, as they say, the, as it's on t-shirts and everything, the, the threat is better than the execution, okay? So instead of playing this, we'll threaten to play it with uh, queen e2, okay? Then we'll have double check, okay? And you see how much better this is? Because after knight g6, if he takes, look at this, mate. Okay, but obviously I don't see it. Uh, okay, so uh, so so knight g6 check is the best move here, but instead I'm I said I'm going for that queen. Knight takes c6 check. And the Luckily, the player plays the worst move here. Oh, King d7. So I have much better than than. Yeah, <laughs> so that, there's something for everyone. We just saw the worst move in chess history. I don't think that's the worst right. move in chess history. Checkmate. Fool's mate. I have actually seen fool's mate. I don't care about it. All right, so, so those are some uh, beginner games. Hopefully you won't fall for the follies, okay? All right, thank you very much.